Hi, I'm Laura Ray Dickey. And I'm Chef Phil Butler. And we're here in the original Dickey's Barbecue in Dallas, Texas. We opened this location in 1941 and we have been serving barbecue here with continuously without closing, without shuttering ever since. And we love barbecue, we love our brisket. And we're really excited for the Easter holiday and we thought we would share one of those Dickey family recipes with you so that you could bring a little bit of barbecue and a little bit of something special maybe to your Easter table this weekend. It's one of our recipes from Mr. Dickey's cookbook. So chef, how do we do dill potato salad? Uh, dill potato salad, and actually you can do two different versions of it. We actually smoke the potatoes, but you can do it in the oven. We cool the potatoes down once they're fully cooked, and fully cooked like a knife can go through it easily. Peel them, chop them, and then all we do is mix it with mayonnaise, sour cream, fresh parsley, and then chopped yellow onion, chopped celery, chopped eggs, and if you don't like eggs, you can uh, omit that as well, and then parsley and salt and pepper. And then all I do is mix this together and you can serve it immediately or let it sit for about 10-15 minutes uh, or overnight before you serve it. And as chef, you're fantastic in the kitchen. Full disclosure, I'm not. I'm great at eating barbecue. I cannot cook at all. But even I can do this recipe. So all you did was chop all the ingredients. But the secret is taking those baked potatoes and barbecuing them. So that's either going in your smoker or on the grill to get that kind of smoky extra flavor. And that's really how it becomes like that dill barbecue potato salad. Uh, you know, in the Dickey family growing up, my husband and his younger brother always used to try to pass off the dill potato salad as a vegetable because it had salad in the name so you know you guys might try that this weekend uh, but it's a great compliment and it also goes perfectly because it's a hearty comforting side uh, very very flavorful but it goes perfect with almost any meat and so chef you have our uh, ribs there our st. Louis style ribs how do we know at home if those ribs are perfectly done well the ribs when you pick them up they should bend really well and the muscles should start separating from each other uh, and then also as you go to cut it uh, you can feel that it's easy to get through them and then when you bite on it, the meat comes right off the bone. So they shouldn't fall apart, they should just be that nice texture and you can really see how just flavorful they are. Um, and the brisket, you can always tell a good brisket by the bark and the smoke ring, right chef? That's right. And the bark is just salt and pepper. We don't do anything else uh, to the brisket, it's just salt and pepper and then long, low smoke and it just creates an amazing texture on that brisket. And we hold our briskets for about 12, uh, 14 hours, mm -hmm. right, about 250 degrees, so that's a, it's a good time. And what do you always tell everybody in the back to know how you're doing a good brisket? Uh, a couple things. One is, uh, once those briskets are in, don't, don't open the doors. Same thing with the pit at home. If you're looking, you ain't cooking, uh, keep the, hit, the, the heat in the pit and keep it nice, low and slow. That is the magic to uh, great barbecue. And then you have our spicy uh, kielbasa a spicy cheddar sausage. Yes. And so how is that? Because I always, I never, my everything never looks as good as when you do it. But if I'm slicing that at home, how do I slice sausage the right way? So, uh, the uh, the sliced sausage, we want to do on a bias, not a cross. We're not trying to make pepperoni rings. Uh, we want nice, long, thin sliced sausage. And then if you notice, all my barbecue, I kind of soldier up. That way it doesn't dry out. Uh, the beauty about barbecue is that nice, soft, moist texture. So putting it this way makes a great presentation, something you can share with the family. So thanks, Chef, uh, for showing us all our whole meats. In fact, you can get any of our whole meats on Dickies.com. We would love to serve you and your family this weekend. Uh, you can order for online a free delivery or a curbside pickup. And if you don't think you can slice or chop the way Chef does, because I know I can't, uh, we also have family packs available for you in large sides and a whole bunch of options to complement that Easter table. But if you're interested in trying that dill potato salad at home, the recipe is in Mr. Dickies' cookbook that you can also get at Dickies.com. But we here at Dickies, thank you so much for having us and hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thanks, y'all.